MSB here, and today I'm going to show you the deck that I used to get to Cosmic. And here you have it. 4 Burns, 4 Baby Yeti, 4 Fireball, 4 Rage Fire, 2 Crackling Bolt, 4 Psychotic Anarchist, 3 Reginals Repost, 4 Burning Tendrils, 3 Matriarch of Flames, 4 Mama Yetis, with 24 Ruby Shards, and Angus the Arsonist as your champion. The benefit of having a fast deck like this is twofold. First, if there are any clunky decks that you run into, this will just knock them out of the park. And second, with each quick game, you get the opportunity to build up your win streaks, making you climb ranks faster. Now that the deck is ready, let's go ahead and take it for a spin. Okay. Ooh. Um, what is that? Go first, absolutely. Mono Wild? Yeah, this could be Mono Wild. Ugh. Uh, no, I can't keep four shards and two baby yetis. I love baby yetis, don't get me wrong, but, um, well, <laughs> no, it's two shards, two baby yetis, and a mama yeti. Yes, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep your stupid baby yeti hand. It's fine, right? You, you, you can never lose when you get turn one baby yeti. Good luck, have fun. I say as I start barreling towards him. hey -ya! Go! Um... What do I want here? I want at least one or two shards in the next couple of turns. Um, I love a Psychotic Anarchist. Drawing Psychotic Anarchists are fantastic. Uh, next turn, probably Bibi Yeti Burn. What do we place here? Yep, Young Seer. Absolutely Burn. Uh, that's getting a minus one cost. Uh, so here, probably just a shard would be nice, just for safety. Hmm, Matrix of Flames. It's pretty good. Burn that down. Hopefully he still draws one of his more expensive troops. That'd be great. Uh, then next turn I just love to, to pull a, a shard so I can throw out a Matriarch of Flames and then another shard. So basically running shards are my best bet here. Pow. Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. His turn two. Done three damage so far. Yeah, okay. Hopefully not main deck Carnosaurus. Okay, Puck. And that is the prophesized one. So... Ruby Shard. Uh, will I throw in? Yes, absolutely, I will throw in with all. Uh, I don't mind losing one of my baby Eddies to score a point of damage. It's fine. Uh, hopefully he doesn't do anything too insane and I just pull another shard because then I'm going to be doing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13. Might singer. Okay. Yep. Okay. I would love, love, love to pull a shard here. Ooh, that's saucy. Love to pull a shard here. Okay, and an artisanal cheese mite. Well, there you go. What do we got here? Okay, well, shard. Shard's fun. Shard's happy. Shard's good. Will I swing with the Mama Yeti to trade for the artisanal cheese smythe? Let's see here. Turn... He's got that coming down. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to swing with all. Well, I'll swing with uh, the Matriarch um, and offer it, because I don't know if I'm going to draw a shard next turn. Um, so I will offer the trade. He can pick which one he'd like to take, because uh, I need to start getting him on the clock. Yep, that's fine. Um, I, need to get him, I need to get him down. And hopefully he doesn't get another uh, Chi Smythe. And I draw some removal. Some quick removal, preferably. Ooh. Very saucy. That's fine. And I'll, I'll, I'll take that damage. And there's the other... Okay, so Burning Tendrils would be fantastic right here. Because uh, he'd be dead. Burning Tendrils and dead. Oh. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you, Deck, for doing exactly what I wanted you to do. I, I thought that was greedy for him to, to swing in like that. Be careful! 
Be careful, you decks. You uh, you can't take this for granted. There you go. Pow! With the champion power. Fantastic. That was a good one. Nice. Excellent. Just gotta, you know, you can't take it for granted that you're at, you know, 10 or 12 health. Okay. So for sideboards, uh, absolutely Ember Spider, which is um, Crimson Bolts are going to be good uh, for, like, Jadem. Uh, we'll take out the Crackling Bolts. Those aren't so fantastic. Um, I don't think the Reginald's Reposts are any good in this matchup. Uh, what else? Um, burn is questionable. Um, Ember Spire Witch. See, the problem is, is he's going to be boarding in um, Cluck Dons. So the Baby Yeti goes down. So I'll take out one Baby Yeti and one Mama Yeti. Um, and I'll go... I'll run... Three Crimson Bolts, keeping the four Ember Spire Witches in because of the Swift Strike and the, the prevention from healing. Uh, optimally, I wouldn't play an Ember Spire Witch on turn two, unless uh, I, I'd more likely play it turn three in case he has a Carnosaurus. That way I could burn it. We'll see. What does this have? Well, it's got a lot of stuff. Um, I, I can't throw this back. This is good enough. This is good enough. Keep it not thrilling. You know, I'm gonna be spending a lot of resources. Good, good. Because if he if he turned two pucks, that's an obvious burn. That's a the, oh, that's good. It's a good top end. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. I love the top deck burning tendrils. Nice. Hey, there's four of them in the deck, man. Interesting. Okay. What's he got? Um, I'll see about it. Okay. Very interesting. Um, okay, another. Okay, so do I Ember Spire Witch? I don't have a turn three play, so I think what I do here. Uh, okay, I think I have to Ember Spire Witch, risk the Carnosaurus, and then... So I'm not playing around the Carnosaurus, I'm playing around uh, like a Might Singer or a, or a bigger troops so that way I can Burning Tendrils and Swing. Could be a mistake, but if he trades Carnosaurus, at least it's one-to-one. -one. Yep, here it is. Oh well. Nothing much I can do with that. At least it's, like I said, it's a trade, so that's good. Turn three, I can Burning Tendrils. Yep, so here's his Might Singer. Uh, I'll save the Burning Tendrils, I'll likely just burn it. Uh, if I drew a, a Psychotic Anarchist, that'd be fantastic. Nope, another Mommy Yeti, though. Um, I will burn this just right now. I'll just burn it. Uh, so next turn is going to be a Mommy Yeti. Uh, the only concern is if he has Artisanal Cheese Smythe on the board. That'll be bad. Nope, Puck. What do I think about Puck? He he looks pretty. He, he's he's resource starved. So, Matriarch of Flames. <sighs> okay, so there's choices here. I could Burning Tendrils. Because if he's got three cards, yeah, I got a Burning Tendrils. This play. That uh, that smelled to me like it was. Um, a, a play to to um, try to, to to bait out the burn uh, to protect this puck because if he's if he's resource uh, no he's got he put, either pulled his third or he had the third there's the artisanal cheese myth so hopefully I draw a resource here because then I'll matriarch resource and and throw in no okay well. Do I matriarch and swing? Uh, no, I think I... I think I mama yeti and swing. Yeah, I'm gonna mama yeti and swing into this. Uh, I'm willing to trade one of my mama yetis, do two damage to him. Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope to draw another, another removal. Because if I can draw, like, a resource, I can matriarch, swing, okay, good. That's fine. We're gonna wait here. Hopefully, draw um, 
what do I want to draw? Something. Crimson Bolt. Okay, so I could double. I could I could double this. I th think that's what I need to do here. I think I need to double. Yeah. I need to I need to double. One. And two. So that way I can start swinging in for this five. Next turn, like I said, hopefully I, I draw a resource soon. Swing and hit. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then next turn, if not, then it's, you know, Mama Yeti. Next turn and swing for five. If I draw a resource, then it's Make Dark of Flames. Play the resource. Okay. That's fine. If he double blocked here. Oh, nope, he's not. Ooh, again, greedy! Greedy. Let's see what we pull. Okay. Well then, yes, we Matrix of Flames. We play the resource. We continue. And swing. And then I get a burn to the ground, which is great. Because then that's reach. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then I'll just save uh, save my champion power. I mean, no rush. He doesn't have blood, so he doesn't have like subtle striker or anything like that. So, okay, fourth resource. Almost there. Of course, I can just kill it if I want to with burn to the ground. Okay, resolve. Yeah. Which is okay. Totally fine. Um, I'd be looking to... What, Mama Yeti this turn? Depends. Let's see what we get. No! Oh, burning tendrils! Uh, yes, play. Thank you. Let's, let's just eat that. Hiya! Is that dead? No, it's not dead. It's close. Swing and swing. I get another burn to the ground in my hand. Yeah, this is big. Uh, yeah, there we go. The, the second burn to the ground just meant that even if he gained some health, it would be over. So, jeez, hey, as you can tell, this deck can, can go super fast. Uh, it's it's very dangerous. You can't overcommit your, your defending troops like that. Even if you have uh, health gain, this very dangerous deck. Excellent. Excellent. So, as you can tell, the Mono Ruby Rush deck is a powerhouse, and it can leave unsuspecting opponents in the dust in a flash. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please take the time to subscribe. And, as always, I'm MSB, wishing you good games and good times.